All right, it's rock and roll time. The sun is just barely over the horizon, but already crews are in place along the highway. The mood is a mix of anticipation and excitement as final directions are given out. Mark Robinson and George Karunas are in the lead vehicle, meters away from where the avalanche is expected to slide. Further back, my cameraman Sean and I get ready to broadcast the event live. After a few tense moments, it's a success. The snow flies down the mountain and onto the Kootenai Pass Highway. This is incredible. It's a weather network first, but the storm hunters are about to do something really cool. Okay, the next task is to get the avalanche crash cam directly in the path of one of these avalanches. So I'm gonna go into the extreme danger zone right in the path of this. this there's a gully right here. The snow is gonna come down. I'm gonna put this box, protective box with cameras inside. Hope for the best, let's go. There isn't much time to get everything in place. George has only minutes to make sure everything is working. There's an avalanche beacon inside the box. So if it gets buried, we'll be able to find it. But I've also got a rope that'll help us retrieve it. Running, Mark and George look for the perfect location for the camera in the natural berm on the highway. Where's the spot? Where's the spot? Where's the spot? Once in place, George checks the equipment one last time. He'll only have one chance to get the shot. All right, let's give that a shot. Back in the safe zone, George and Mark can only watch and hope the camera captures what they're looking for to show you safely what it's like to be in the path of an avalanche. And it goes off without a hitch. Just amazing. I, I love doing things that most people never even think about doing, and this is certainly one of them. For the Weather Network, I'm Kelsey McEwen in British Columbia.